Recently, while out camping my Keystone Bullet, I noticed that the TV would not pick up over the air channels. It was puzzling given that I knew channels were available and I had even been able to receive signals on previous trips from the same place. In this episode, we'll go over how we troubleshooted the problem and discuss some things to be aware of if this happens to you. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci and I made the jump to traveling with my R-Pod back in 2016 and have never looked back. I've had my share of problems along the way and this channel attempts to be what I wish I had when I started out. So let's go ahead and jump in. You know, having your TV not working right can be more frustrating than you think. This is especially true if you know over-the-air channels are available, but your TV isn't picking them up. This happened to me recently when camping in my Keystone Bullet. I repeatedly scanned for channels with nothing being found. I knew that there were plenty of TV stations broadcasting where I was located, so the issue was something with my setup. So how do you go about methodically troubleshooting something like this? Here are the steps I took to eventually solve the issue. You know, I'm always a bit suspicious of coax cables when I have some sort of reception issue. If you think about it, to get over the air channels, the TV needs to be correctly hooked up to some sort of antenna using these coax cables. So to start, you should ensure the coax cable between the TV and wall box is working. To do this, you can bring a working coax cable currently being used in your house to the trailer and place the existing one. It's important to be methodical when troubleshooting. The process needs to be based on eliminating one issue at a time. The next test was to bring a small external coax TV antenna into the trailer. We had one we knew that worked from the house. We connected this antenna to the TV in the trailer, ran a scan for channels, and immediately received over-the-air channels. This told us that the TV in the RV itself was working fine. And I was pretty happy about that. So now we knew that the TV and the coax cable were fine. The next test was to loosen the coax wall plate near the TV to see if connections were loose there. Note that if a coax cable isn't tightened firmly, it can cause the problem we were having. So we took the wall plate off and the cable connection was just slightly loose. So we did tighten it. But after tightening the coax and the wall plate, the TV still didn't pick up any channels when we connected directly. So although the coax in the wall plate was slightly loose, it wasn't the issue. We then tested a different TV wall outlet in the bedroom by draping a coax from the ceiling mounted outlet to the TV. We still picked up no channels. The concern at this point was the roof mounted antenna. But before we decided to climb on top of the trailer to take a look, we looked at the key TV owner's manual. Key TV comes in the Keystone RVs of late and is a place on the outside of the RV that contains the power boost for the antenna and central hub of coax cables for the RV. This includes not only the TV antenna, but also the FM antenna. After reading through the manual, it was apparent that this needed to be inspected as it was the central place where the various coax cables came together. It was fairly easy to remove the four Phillips screws and look at the coax connections in the key TV box. After removing the screws, it was apparent that the roof antenna coax cable had indeed become loose from the key TV housing. The fix was as easy as tightening the coax connector. But before we put the key TV housing back, we retested the TV. Everything worked fine now with the TV picking up all the local over the air channels. Issue solved. A few points to be made here from this troubleshooting experience. First, remember to look at your owner's manual when troubleshooting any issue. Likely, you'll learn something important that will help with troubleshooting. Along with this, it's a great idea to have all your RV manuals organized in one place. We use an Amazon Basics folder that we have on our storefront. If you don't have something like this, I would highly recommend getting one. Next, remember to tackle troubleshooting with a method that eliminates one potential issue at a time. Notice we eliminated the coax cable as an issue, then the TV, then the wall mount connection, and so on. It's fully feasible that if we didn't consult the owner's manual for the key TV, we may have accidentally replaced or damaged the rooftop antenna trying to fix it. We also could have mistakenly paid someone to figure out what amounted to a very minor problem. Remember that connections of various types in your RV can come loose over time with travel and should be inspected. Also, use the items you have to test with. 
We used a small portable TV antenna to ensure the TV was working. There's likely a better way to test using a coax continuity tester to ensure signal is flowing properly. Hopefully this video has been helpful for those having this problem, or if you ever run into something similar in your RV travels. It's nice to have a TV that works well again. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. We'd love to have you join the On the Road team by subscribing to the channel. Also, clicking the bell icon near the subscribe button will keep you informed when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. And you can also follow us on Facebook at John Marucci on the Road. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is John Marucci, and so long for now.